Okay, this is Paul Bacon then with the Cosmotron. Cosmotron was a car I'd heard about that was being built and I was really, really keen to feature it. Um, it's just, it's something totally different in the, in the UK. My first impression, I actually saw photographs of it first and I thought, wow, that looks really good. The very first time I saw it in the flesh just blew me away. Knowing Paul the Builder, Paul Bacon, um, we'd seen his previous car, Doolatron, which was based on a Citroen, and that was quite special. Then for him to top that with Cosmotron was just, I mean it was a totally different technique he used to build the body. He did use the running gear of a conventional modern day car. Uh, and he just combined the two perfectly and it was the design of the bodywork itself which was just totally amazing. As, a, as the editor of Custom Car I did a full feature on Cosmotron and that was really enlightening to talk to Paul to find out basically how he came up with the idea of it. Every event I've been to that Cosmotron has turned up at, the reception it's received has been amazing. Uh, it, it, it just is one of those cars that just instantly draws people to it. What's the reaction you get from people with this out on the street? I mean, it, it's such an unusual looking car. I mean, do, do people stop you and talk to you about it? If you imagine literally driving a spaceship down the street, <laughs> that's what it's like. Um, you know, people are... There was one man once who he just stood there and cheered, and then he looked round, and I think then he realised he was just on his own. Just one man standing cheering. But, Wonderful. I don't think, you know, but I think a lot with hot rods, you know, the general public will see a car come by, they, they don't really know what they're looking at, no. um, they just know it's something, you know, that's made them smile, and if it makes, you know, a few people smile in, in a day, then, you know, mission accomplished, yeah, really, well, I, you know. I think you've done a grand job on it. <laughs> I'm amazed by this, tell me a little bit about this. First off, I built a workshop, and then I bought a BMW Z3, um, I bought the BMW Z3 for about two and a half thousand pounds and I managed to get one. I was going to go for like Cat C, Cat D, something like that, but I thought I didn't want any complications other than getting an MOT on it. So started with a convertible, got a decent car, full service history from new, stripped it down, sold all the bits on eBay, made nearly all the money back that I paid for the car and then I started building uh, using polystyrene to shape the shape of the car, covering that in like a, a foil and then on with fiberglass and then just hours and hours of sculpting and sanding to, uh, to make it into the car that it is now. Obviously I, I knew right from the start it was going to have the domed roof so starting with a base vehicle that, uh, that had aircon that really helped because even on the slightest of sunny days it gets really hot really quick so I am um, yeah aircon was always going to be in there also cross fly tyres were always going to be in there um, just to give that 60s show rod look uh, however I, I never realised just quite how powerful the BMW was and how much it would spin the wheels in the wet but it's you know it's all great fun and you know that's just part of the appeal. The design for the car, I started off looking at a lot of Ed Roth cars and um, I was studying Ed Roth cars and Daryl Starbird's cars and uh, Spritz by Fritz in America, uh, Mark Moriarty as well, and did the future. And I looked at all of those cars and I thought what I want to do is make a car like those but original and I, I sort of pieced together all the bits I liked and then started sketching and sketching and sketching until I felt that I'd, I'd come up with a design that was was, was all original and I'd, I'd managed to change every, every bit of what I started out with from all the different cars and come up with an original design of my own. But yeah, quite a, a long design process and um, my advice to anyone who's designing anything like this, 
uh, pencil and paper, it's almost free. Draw it a thousand times before you ever try to make it because making costs a lot and when you get it wrong, it's quite costly and yeah, pain in the ass. Plans for the next one, I'm gonna start with a Honda S2000, um, small, small Japanese sports car and I'm gonna build like a crazy Model A-esque 60 show car over the top of that. Um, no dome this time, but I think there will be a large section of acrylic glass roof, um, more diamond pleat, more chrome, just more outrageous. I want, I want the next car to make Cosmotron look like a Mondeo. Fantastic, isn't it? Should be in a film, definitely. Yeah, it should be in a film.